In one of my previous videos, I looked at the PowerToys New Plus tool, which allows you to customize the creation of new files through the Windows context menu. In that video, I talked about a missing feature of New Plus, which was the use of wildcard variables when creating file names. Well, maybe someone from the PowerToys development team saw that video because as of PowerToys version 0.9, New Plus has that very feature. Let's take a look at how it works. I won't be covering all the features and settings of New Plus here, so if you're new to the software, please check out my previous video on it. I'll provide a link in the comments below. The variables provided by New Plus focus almost exclusively on dates and times, but it does also allow you to use Windows system environment variables. This isn't something I plan to cover in the video, but I will provide some reference material in the description below. And if these are of use to you, you should also check out the environment variables tool in PowerToys. In my New Plus templates folder, I've created three files. The first is using wildcards that will give us a year, month, day, daily report file name in the ISO 8601 date format. The second file will give us the year and the month in the 8601 format. We'll then put the shortened month name, then the words monthly report. The final template I've created uses another variable that's available in New Plus, which gives us the parent folder name of the file as part of the file name. Here I've set up a folder on my desktop called reporting. If I right click in here and go down to the New Plus menu, you can see the templates that I've created. So if I choose the monthly report, it creates the file and you get the option to rename it, but you can see that it hasn't turned the wildcards into the current date. The reason for this is that by default, the option to replace variables in a file name is not turned on in New Plus. So if we bring up the PowerToys dashboard, go into New Plus, and scroll down you can see here the behavior option replace variables in template file name is off now if i turn that on and go back and try and create another file if i go to new plus you can see now that even in the menu it's replacing the wildcards with the date variables if i go ahead and create that file it's now created 202504 april monthly report if I go ahead and try and create a file in this folder using the parent folder name variable, it creates a file with the reporting folder name and then the word workbook after it, which is what I chose in the file name template. So that you can see wherever you create this, it will pick up the folder. So if I created a new subfolder of reporting April, and go into this subfolder and create another file. You can see that that one is called Reporting April Workbook, picking up the name of the folder that it's in. This file name variables feature should be a welcome addition for anyone who's already found a home for New Plus within their suite of productivity tools. If you found this video useful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to get notified of new content. Thanks for watching.